Hello and welcome dear viewers to a new episode of Windows Live on Nile TV International. I'm Karim Gameridin and I'll be your host for tonight. And uh, tonight's uh, topic, we're going to be talking about uh, Egypt's uh, efforts to boost the tourism sector and uh, also uh, the tourism sector. It is worthy of note, of course, that the tourism sector is uh, on its way to a remarkable uh, recovery and the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities is exerting relentless efforts to uh, revive the uh, tourism industry. And also we're seeing, of course, uh, or we're witnessing in Egypt uh, till the end of of the month a very important uh, event uh, the tournament uh, of the world handball uh, championship the men's handball championship that is being uh, held in egypt uh, despite uh, the global unprecedented uh, emergency of uh, covid 19 but uh, the um, egyptian uh, leadership uh, the political leadership uh, was uh, willing to uh, take this uh, experience and to prove to the whole world that egypt is capable of holding an international tournament uh, with the preventative measures in place and uh, with the highest uh, precautionary measures and to talk about uh, tonight's uh, topic of Egypt's uh, tourism efforts uh, um, to boost the, the tourism sector. We're most delighted to be joined here in the studio live uh, by Mr. Ahmed Abul Mat, and he's a tourism expert uh, to tell us uh, his insights and uh, more about the topic. Uh, very good evening, sir, and thank you so much for joining us on live on Windows. My pleasure. Thank you. Um, uh, Mr. Ahmed, allow us to go for a short break and then we will be continuing our very interesting uh, discussion about this very important topic. Dear viewers, a quick break and then be back to resume Windows live on Nile TV Internet. Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. You're still watching Windows Live on Nile TV uh, International. And as we noted earlier in our introduction, our topic uh, tonight will be about uh, the tourism uh, industry uh, in Egypt, which has uh, made a remarkable uh, recovery. And uh, uh, we're most delighted uh, to be joined here in the studio by Mr. Uh, Ahmed Abul Magd, tourism expert. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, uh, we uh, begin, allow me to begin with the tournament, uh, of course, uh, the Men's uh, World uh, Handball uh, Championship that is being held here in Egypt and how can this very important event and the, the successful management of this event uh, pave the way for more tourists uh, to come and for boosting the tourism sector? Um, <clears throat> first of all, although the pandemic that we are facing uh, mm. this year and the last year, uh, Egypt successfully organized, as, uh, is organizing right now uh, the, the championship of the handball and uh, we already received um, many teams and mm. Uh, the match has already begun and uh, we are watching this and um, they uh, just enabled for some uh, few people to attend mm -hmm. uh, the matches but although that we successfully organized the whole thing and uh, the, the great privilege of all, uh, of all uh, what's, what's happening now, the great privilege is uh, that these teams is visiting the side scenes of, of Egypt. For mm -hmm. example, we saw many teams at the pyramids at the side scenes and it's also ex expected to to visit some other side scenes like Luxor and Aswan after the, the, the competition or the tournament uh, come to an end. Yes, and uh, we have seen also the pictures of the players by the pyramids and enjoying uh, the sea and, this, uh, and uh, the sharing their stories on the s different social media platforms. This is the, the, the great uh, propaganda that we are expecting mm -hmm. that uh, this year, although the pandemic, uh, we are expecting a great season from the next of October. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know from our people um, who are working in tourism that uh, we have an um, overbooking mm -hmm. next October and from October and November. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we will pass the, uh, the next uh, two or three months. Uh, by the Easter, we are expecting few people to come. Uh, the summer is already quiet. So we are expecting from the second half of September uh, to the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 a great season uh, very similar to the last season before the coronavirus mm -hmm. uh, also uh, on, an, on a parallel uh, front uh, Mr. Ahmed uh, the tourism uh, sector is opening uh, new markets and uh, attracting 
uh, different uh, types of uh, tourism and uh, we have seen lately a boost in the uh, uh, the uh, conference tourism or the exhibitions uh, tourism we have seen a lot of uh, world-class um, exhibitions and conferences being organized here in Egypt uh, if you can tell us how can we attract this type of tourism um, Egypt is uh, uh, a country which is already involved in such uh, uh, sort of tourism like in conferences in different different uh, different fields and mm -hmm. uh, this year for anyone who will open uh, the calendar of the conferences in Egypt starting from January to the end of December mm -hmm. you, you will find a lot of conferences held will be held in different uh, places like Cairo, Luxor, Aswan, Alexandria, uh, Sharm el Sheikh and Hergada so the uh, the calendar of the conferences in egypt this year is quite busy mm -hmm. so we will receive a lot of people we we'll receive a lot of experts and we will discuss a lot of uh, articles mm -hmm. on our our calendar this year mm -hmm. uh, so i think it will be great this yes. year for the uh, conferences as well uh, what do you think uh, mr Ahmed, is the role of the uh, ministry of tourism and antiquities in this uh, they already have a great rule starting from the end of the last year, the great discoveries in Saqqara, uh, the great uh, archaeological discoveries in other places like uh, in Upper Egypt, especially Aswan. Uh, mm. This uh, effort uh, is really appreciated and we saw a lot of uh, documentaries about what Egypt find recently mm. in Saqqara and in the famous side scenes. Mm -hmm. and the uh, work is still going on so we are expecting to uh, to reveal m most of this uh, discoveries this year as well we mm -hmm. s we saw that uh, the ministry of antiquities found a lot of uh, mummies and uh, sarcophagi and different mm -hmm. uh, monuments mm -hmm. but this year is is exp we are expecting to find much more Yes. In 2021. Um, also, um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Mr. Ahmed, in my introduction, that uh, the tourism sector is on its way uh, to, a, to a remarkable recovery. And uh, uh, it was chosen as one of the uh, most, uh, Egypt was chosen as one of the most uh, secure destinations to go uh, to visit in 2021. And this was by some uh, media channels and also some uh, tourism organizations. And also, there was a recent visit as you uh, might be aware by the head of the World Tourism Organization, uh, his first visit to, to Egypt, and it was a very successful visit. Um, if you can tell us about the, the reasons of Egypt being chosen as one of the uh, top destinations for 2021. As we just mentioned um, mm. um, that although the pandemic, Egypt is following uh, great uh, procedures, uh, film procedures in um, in. Um, in this in this pandemic especially mm -hmm. for the people who want to come to spend their holidays although the pandemic and also the hard circumstances that are facing this year and the last year mm -hmm. uh, Egypt already is opening some uh, destinations in the Red Sea like uh, Hurghada and Sharm el Sheikh uh, in Sinai and some other uh, places like Luxor and Aswan so we are already receiving a few people mm -hmm. but we, if we are going to compare Egypt with other countries globally we are one of the most top five, let's say, mm -hmm. in tourism worldwide mm -hmm. this year and the last year. Mm -hmm. But after the vaccination started in many countries, like in UK, the main markets, we're talking about the United States, uh, UK and Europe, uh, some Asian markets. Um, so the work is going on on the vaccination of the whole people. So we are expecting, starting from the second half of September to the end of the year, many few thousands will come to spend their holidays, especially the, uh, the new year of 2021-22 mm. 20, 20, mm. and also the next year as well. Mm. We are talking about a season which was, will start officially starting from the next, next, next uh, the second half of September mm -hmm. and to the first half of April. Mm -hmm. So this will be a great, really great season. Yes, uh, we have our fingers crossed, of course, and we hope uh, that the numbers uh, will uh, increase. Uh, and uh, also uh, another um, a major, uh, a major attraction in Egypt, of course, is the 
Grand uh, Egyptian Museum or the GEM. Of course, uh, as you know, that the official inauguration has, be has been postponed due to the pandemic and all, but uh, this uh, event, uh, how will it impact the tourism sector? Of course, it's big uh, and um, it might be pushed till uh, uh, late 2021 or maybe even maybe 2022. How do you think this will impact the tourism sector? Uh, such an event is not happening every day. Mm -hmm. So we uh, want um, that this, this uh, opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum will be a great thing on all, all faces and all, mm -hmm. all the fields. Mm -hmm. So we are organizing to uh, receive many people, uh, many presidents, mm -hmm. um, many superstars from mm -hmm. all over the world to attend the opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum. Mm -hmm. But because uh, of the circumstance, the hard circumstance that the whole world facing right now, Mm -hmm. So we uh, just uh, may plan B, let's say. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not really the right time to open the Grand Egyptian Museum. We can do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's not really hard, but we want from uh, many people from all over the world to attend the opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum. So I think it will be the right decision to uh, postpone this uh, opening till uh, the next year or maybe uh, the first half of the 2022, let's say mm. in February or mm. March will be a great time, mm. good weather, so the people will enjoy mm. their, uh, uh, their holiday or their, uh, uh, the, the event of opening the Grand Egyptian Museum. Mm. And it will be a great opportunity for them as well to visit other places. Mm -hmm. So that will be great. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, as an expert, do you believe that we're going to be uh, witnessing a significant uh, jump in the numbers of uh, tourism in recent uh, months, uh, in, in the coming months, uh, I, I, as, I, as we start uh, to roll out uh, the, the uh, vaccinations? Uh, it, 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 I think it will, it will be uh, like that. Mm -hmm. The numbers will, uh, will jump um, even more than expected. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we will receive few thousands, I think, for the, from the second half of uh, September to the uh, end of October. I think many people will come to spend their holidays. Uh, you know that people passed hard times the last year and some of them really feel bored and they want to travel. So they will find Egypt as a very good destination mm -hmm. with a, a reasonable uh, packages to, mm -hmm. to spend their holidays in, in Egypt at the end of this year. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, uh, how do you see the efforts of uh, the uh, Ministry of uh, Tourism uh, and Antiquities uh, to uh, keep the COVID-19 preventive measures in place inside uh, hotels, resorts, and uh, to ensure the safety uh, of the tourists and also uh, offering even uh, PCR uh, tests at uh, airports? How do you see all these efforts? Uh, I think this is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, the capacity in the hotels mm -hmm. and uh, yes. the resorts is very important. Uh, you know, the firm rules that the Minister of Tourism approved about this, not more than 35%, 40% maximum mm -hmm. for the whole places in the hotels and the restaurants and the resorts, especially in the Red Sea. And because of this uh, firm rules, many people already trusted this rules so that's why they came recently to spend their holidays so we are talking about uh, numbers which passed more than expected mm -hmm. the, the, this year and also it will will keep will be kept like this the next few months mm -hmm. Uh, what do you think uh, are the current, uh, aside from the pandemic of course, what do you think are the current uh, challenges facing the tourism sector? Uh, the most thing is the coronavirus of course mm. and because of this we have uh, less mm. numbers mm. the last year. But uh, I think as uh, vaccination is going on and also Egypt uh, uh, approved uh, the plan for the vaccination as well, uh, the, the, the beginning of the 2021 uh, to the first first half, so Egypt approved this this uh, plan, and I think we will carry on approving this plan on the second half of the year as well. Mm -hmm. So this is the first thing. The second thing is about the tourism. Uh, also, we approved the main things that most of the countries approved about the security of the people, about their safety, 
about uh, the, 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 the places, uh, the people visiting, the capacity of the visitors, uh, the procedures uh, that we are following in the airports mm. and in the hotels. So I think we are uh, moving on the right path. Mm. Uh, how about the recent uh, discoveries? Of course, you know that uh, 2020 was a year of archaeological uh, discoveries and there were many significant uh, discoveries and tombs that were unveiled. Uh, this, uh, the, the impact of this on uh, tourism? Um, the, the new discoveries is really a good thing mm -hmm. and we already found a lot of things in Saqqara but we are also talking about the future discoveries. Mm -hmm. So Egypt have a great calendar for the future discoveries this year. Mm -hmm. The work is still carrying, uh, going on in Saqqara. Mm -hmm. There is some work in Minya in the um, in middle of Egypt and there is work already uh, is going on now in Aswan and some of it on the West Bank of Luxor mm -hmm. and also some new discoveries in the Delta as well. New museums are already built. Uh, most of the propaganda is concentrating on the Grand Egyptian Museum, but we have new other museums in Hurghada, in Sharm el Sheikh, in uh, some of the cities in Delta as well. And also we are planning for more improvement in the plans for increasing the numbers of the tourists in the unusual places. So we have uh, uh, some of the new plans that we are following now mm -hmm. is uh, the Eco Egypt, mm -hmm. that's uh, a cooperation between the Ministry of the Tourism and the Ministry of the Environment, and uh, mm -hmm. they are um, w they will open some of the national parks of Egypt that will never ever uh, open before for the people. So it will be a great chance for the Egyptians to see these national parks and also for the foreigners for the next season as well. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Ahmed, we'll go for a break and then we'll continue on this uh, very interesting uh, discussion about uh, the tourism sector. Uh, the viewers, a quick break and then we'll be back to resume Windows live on Nile TV International. Uh, welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Uh, you're still watching uh, Windows uh, Live on Nile TV International, continuing our discussion about uh, Egypt's efforts to boost uh, the uh, tourism sector. And we're most uh, delighted to be uh, joining us uh, here in the studio, Mr. Ahmed Abul Mag, the uh, tourism expert. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, we were talking about the efforts uh, exerted by Egypt to, to boost the tourism sector. Uh, if you can tell us also about the uh, conference or the exhibition uh, uh, tourism also I, I believe this is a a, 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 a huge market uh, that Egypt can target uh, and uh, work on build on what has already been done and organized by Egypt the infrastructure that people uh, uh, that the people working on it right now in Egypt is, is really great we mm -hmm. are um, building a new uh, capital mm -hmm. east of Delta yes. and it will be the biggest in Africa the next five years and it will absorb millions of people new mm -hmm. business will open for millions of people so this is one of the great chances that's why we have a lot of conferences related for uh, such a project and also we have a lot of um, conferences uh, will be held this year for um, organizing uh, the, the plans for uh, making new projects, new uh, factories, new industries will be formed. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the importance of uh, the, the, in the artificial intelligence in the industry, in our industry, how we are, we are improving now our industry, the programs and the training of the people as well. Uh, we are uh, making uh, cooperation with many countries all over the world. Mm -hmm. And these countries will come to Egypt in 2021 to discuss the future projects with the Egyptian government. Mm -hmm. So we are expecting a lot of interactions on this field this year, mm -hmm. starting from the next month in February to the end of this year. Yes. So we are we are working on it. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, can you tell us about, uh, more about the initiative ECHO you just told us about? Uh, well, this is one of the nice um, uh, plans for the government mm -hmm. that's uh, opening the national park for the people. Uh, Egypt is, is covered nearly by 300,000 
kilometer mm -hmm. uh, of its uh, main area by national parks. Mm -hmm. We are talking about more than 30 national parks. Some of it is very famous for the people. Many people know that. Mm -hmm. It's also considered on the programs like the Oasis, like uh, um, the national parks of the Red Sea mm -hmm. and in Sinai as well. But there is other national parks which is not really famous, mm -hmm. like um, the national parks of uh, the south of Egypt in the western desert on the borders. We have also the plan to uh, open and increase the numbers of the people and the visitors as well by making domestic flights in the airports in these places. So uh, it will be great for the people to visit these places you know that people coming from all over the world to see our national parks, but mm. there's already people in Egypt who never ever been to these places. So this is not really a good thing. Mm. So the image will be changed. Mm -hmm. The government is working hard on this project for opening the national parks for the people. There is a nearby national parks, for example, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 40, 50 kilometers from Cairo. Mm -hmm. But there is also some national parks which is really far, mm -hmm. like the Siwa Oasis. This is one of the farest places. It's nearly uh, 950k from, from Cairo. And if we travel by the car, it will uh, take nearly from uh, 10 to 12 hours mm -hmm. traveling. But if we do it with a flight, it will be like one and a half hour. Mm -hmm. So this is for example. And mm -hmm. there is also other plans. Uh, uh, all over Egypt in Sinai as well, mm -hmm. the national parks of Ras Muhammad for the divers, mm -hmm. uh, people who can enjoy the stargazing, yeah, water the evening, sports, yeah. a lot of activities. So mm -hmm. this is a, a real pleasure for the people. Creating mm -hmm. new programs mm -hmm. is also uh, should be considered. Mm -hmm. Making new programs, you, you will guarantee to find new people and new visitors mm -hmm. to come to your market and to come to your country to see even the people who uh, make this experience before they will definitely mm -hmm. will repeat this experience again because mm -hmm. they will do another thing or another yeah. activity. Uh, picking on what you just said, uh, speaking about the marketing, uh, do you believe that Egypt's uh, image is being properly marketed uh, uh, abroad and in other countries or what do you think might be missing that we should work on further? We should uh, do a lot of things, a big effort, not mm. working on the main items that the people know, all the people know what, we all know the pyramids, we all know the Valley of the Kings, mm. we all know the main treasures of Egypt. Mm -hmm. This is very uh, well, well known, known mm -hmm. all over the world. But we want to work on mm -hmm. the new things, for example, the new discoveries, mm -hmm. the new museums, mm -hmm. the new programs, mm -hmm. the new places. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of things that we want to work on it because of the people mm -hmm. in the other countries don't know this, uh, these places. Mm -hmm. So our rule is to uh, provide them with uh, main information about mm -hmm. what's the real pleasure they will, they will have, what's the real adventure that they will gain in this place. Uh, this, is the main, this is the main thing mm -hmm. and this is our responsibility. The first thing is to encourage our mm -hmm. people to visit these places. And the second step is to make the people outside Egypt to come and to see these places. This is the real challenge that we have the mm -hmm. next three or four years. Yes. Um, uh, also, uh, speaking about the uh, hidden treasures, uh, uh, what uh, are, if you can elaborate on some of the destinations that uh, are not given uh, the proper attention or the proper uh, marketing uh, strategy for in Egypt? For example, the national parks. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of national parks mm -hmm. all over Asia. Some mm -hmm. of these parks is really ignored mm -hmm. for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And some other parks don't really have the good propaganda. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to uh, improve our propaganda for these places. Uh, we want to consider these places on our programs. Uh, I do appreciate that all the tourism agencies want um, to gain money and they are working on mm -hmm. the business-wise. But on the other hand, we have to, um, to give these places the right, the right thing uh, on our, our plans. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to tell them more. Uh, we want to provide them with more data about these places, what's the, the benefit that they will have if we improve these programs, 
and what the benefit that Egypt have and what the, 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 the positive image for Egypt for opening these places, that means that you have more security uh -huh. in Egypt. When you open more places, when you facilitate all the means of the transportation for making this uh, trips easier for the people uh, to provide that and to give it the right chance for the people to know and to come to Egypt to visit these places, you are doing definitely the right thing. Mm -hmm. Um, also, I'd like to talk also about the impact of the tourism sector on the Egyptian economy. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the uh, tourism sector is one of the uh, main uh, players in the economy and one of also uh, the major attractions of foreign currency. Uh, if you can tell us uh, more about uh, the progress of the tourism sector in that regard. It's, it's a great industry. Uh, I mean, we all know the importance of the tourism, not just for the government, but also for the people. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking about uh, a bulk of uh, Egyptians between four to five million who are working uh, directly in tourism and a lot of business mm -hmm. related to the tourism somehow. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, unfortunately the pandemic the last year affected much the economy of Egypt, mm -hmm. especially Egypt is considering the tourism as the main, one of the main sources of the Egyptian economy. But mm -hmm. although that we made a lot of improvements mm. to recover the economy and we are expecting we are working right now on making new plans for uh, for bringing more people the next season and we keeping the volume that we're working on it right now and the resorts and in the regions we are facing of course we are facing a problem um, for anyone who knows working in tourism you know that there is a problem and there is nearly um, no people coming in because this is uh, a high season time mm -hmm. of the year. We are in January and this is a high season, but although that we don't really have the, the right volume uh, for the tourism in the many places that we have, like the pyramids, like the main sightings, the Luxor and Aswan, and we have the exceptions. People who are booking their holidays in the Red Sea resorts and they traveling like uh, an overday or overnight from the resorts to the uh, to the places that we have in the main side scenes mm -hmm. and this is like an exception in these days mm -hmm. but we are looking forward in the next few months to mm -hmm. uh, improve the tourism and to bring in more people and to yes. do the right thing. Now, what do you think also about uh, the uh, ideas of uh, virtual tours? Because we have seen uh, lately, because of the challenges of the pandemic, we have seen uh, the, some uh, virtual tours of uh, Egypt. How do you think this uh, can uh, help uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, surviving the uh, negative repercussions of the pandemic? We, we consider this as a good propaganda for the uh, for the tourism in Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, the virtual tours is uh, one of the main things on the internet and people working on it worldwide and Egypt because it has a lot of heritage, a big monuments, a famous places. Mm -hmm. So virtual tours is one of the main things that uh, make the people uh, making or keeping Egypt in their minds to, uh, to visit this country uh, the, the next, the next yes. few years. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, uh, your final message as we're wrapping up. Uh, my final message is to um, keep our plans for the improvement mm -hmm. of the tourism and to uh, keep us safe in these places and uh, God, uh, God bless Egypt and God bless us. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, Ahmed uh, Abul Magd, uh, tourism expert. Uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us on Windows. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, dear viewers, uh, by this we come uh, to the end of uh, today's episode uh, of Windows uh, on Mile TV uh, International. And uh, thank you so much uh, for watching. Until we meet again, this goodbye.